morning everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats and Coffee. Today is December 23rd, which means we are now officially in the winter season, at least up here in the Northern Hemisphere. And with winter comes winter problems with our clarinets. So I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to winterize your clarinet care routine and also show you, I'm really excited to show you guys a thing that I made, which is the real reason why I made this video. And so I hope you're excited with me, but I'm going to share it at the very end, okay? So anyway, um, Side note, patrons and channel members, thank you all so much for supporting my channel. If you are not already supporting my channel and you love getting free stuff, please consider supporting me on Patreon or channel memberships. You get free PDFs. I even have a full excerpt books of literally hundreds of videos worth of etudes, exercises, warm-ups, repertoire, all in a catalog that I just updated and I just sent to my patrons and channel members this past week. So if you wanna jump on board with that, please support my channel through Patreon and channel memberships. Okay, let's jump right in here to winterizing your clarinet. So the first thing, you wanna make sure that you have a case that is made with quality material. So I love my BAM double case right here. I know it's really fun with all those stickers. It's small, it's light, it's durable, and I think it does a pretty nice job, at least here in Chicago, minimizing major temperature fluctuations. So if I'm going out for like a half hour walk and it's, you know, 15 degrees outside, my instrument is not going to go from you know, 70 to 15 degrees in that 30 minutes. Uh, so it's pretty consistent. I don't know how they make it, maybe with, you know, whatever foam is inside. And there's a really nice thick layer of nylon on the outside, which makes me feel a lot better about the weatherproofing as well. Um, added bonus with this one, uh, there's like this thing. So when you're traveling, you can like put it on your luggage. So that's not really anything to do with winter, but I kind of like it. So we're gonna look inside because there are a couple of things that you should have in your case when you're trying to take care of your instrument. One is a humidity pack. So we all have probably seen these being used for reeds. They make slightly larger ones for instruments. I don't recommend laying it right on top of your instrument. I just fold it up and I put it in the case and that actually keeps, that's a 49% humidity thing and that keeps my case around 40% humidity. Um, so as a side note, we also should have a hygrometer or I like having a hygrometer in my case that um, shows the temperature and the humidity of the case and so here it is, I keep it in there. If it drops too low, then that's how I know I wanna throw one of these in. So if it starts dropping below 40%, then I will toss one of these in the case. Uh, so this is just a little pack. I know you guys are probably not able to see this. So it's a little pack that go inside, goes inside a sleeve and uh, I find it very useful, so I like it. All right, and the thing that I brought you here for, the thing I'm very excited about is this thing that I made for my single case. Now, I'll take you through why. So I don't always want to walk around with my double case because sometimes I'm just going to teaching and I don't always even need my clarinets. So I will bring a micro case around with me. Ta-da! It's really great. It's very small. It's like, there we go, a little larger than I guess my head. Uh, I love it. Uh, the only problem with this though is that I don't think it's that great at temperature control. So when the temperature starts to drop and I'm concerned, that's, that's when I need to uh, give it a, something a little extra. So put this guy over here which brings me to the case cover that I made. Now, I made this, did I say that already? I'm really proud of it. 
I'm kind of a hack when it comes to sewing. I have no idea really what I'm doing except that I attach one piece of fabric to another and I hem things and then I make the thing look how I want it to. So I've made a lot of different clothes and um, I've made case covers for my instrument cases in the past. Uh, so this one is for my little baby one over there. So if you're interested in making this, I got all of this material at Joann's Fabrics. Uh, so the insulation on the inside, I'm pretty sure it's very similar to if not the same as what you would find in an Altieri bag. Uh, you get this fabric that goes on the inside is actually, it has multiple layers. It has like, you know, whatever this is, like a cotton polyester blend. It has some batting to keep the insulation and warmth in. It has a layer of mylar and another layer that is like fused with the batting. So you've got a double layer of mylar, which is really important in keeping the cold air out and the warm air in. Okay, so this is what they make emergency, not this, but this is what they make like emergency blankets out of. It's pretty cool. They even, you know, will make like spacecrafts with this stuff. Anyway, um, so I was super lucky with this. I think it's normally like anywhere from 15 to $20 for a yard of all of this, which makes sense. There's a lot of stuff sewn together here, but I found it in the remnants for like a lot of it for like 10 bucks. So this is actually gonna go around my other double case uh, that I will use when it gets too cold for even my BAM case. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also, on the outside, I used a, I found this like, really durable. I think it's some sort of nylon or polyester fabric. I also found it in the remnants. Um, I think it's uh, probably for like backpacks or even like outdoor upholstery. It's pretty strong and durable. And the idea was I wanted something that's kind of waterproof and durable that isn't going to rip or tear or get super stained up or fall apart. So then the design itself is really easy. I like easy. I had a lot of ideas like, oh, maybe I should put in a zipper, or maybe I should put in straps. Honestly, all I need is to be able to put this in a backpack. So I had to tone it down a little bit to make it simple and it took me only a, like a couple of hours to make rather than like a couple of days. And so I just did one big long piece of the insulation on the inside and I cut it to the dimensions I wanted, and then I did this um, squaring off of the inside edge where you like kind of fold it and go inside out and then you cut the corner so you get that kind of like boxy edge to it that you'd see like in tote bags. Uh, so I did that and folded it around so it's just a flap coming up so it's, very very simple like it goes all the way around and i did the exact same thing for the outer shell as well so this nylon it's it's the same and then i just made a hem go all the way around and all the way down the sides and all the way down in here and that was it the whole idea was to have the ability to just cut off outside air from getting in or inside air from getting out. So fold it in, fold it over, boom. Nothing is getting in or going out. Fits in my backpack. I've tested this out multiple times over the past couple of weeks and it keeps my clarinet nice and toasty warm. It works so well. So if you guys are on a budget or if you just like making stuff, like I do, uh, I would highly recommend take a little trip to Joann's and get yourself some insulated fabric and have fun doing a project. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome weekend this weekend, a great week next week, and as always, happy practicing.